Hello, I am Dr. Sangeeta Gomes, Consultant, Obstetrics, Gynecology and Infertility, Bangalore, India. Fertility drugs are available in the form of tablets and injections. Tablets are those containing clomiphene citrate, anastrozole and letrozole. Injections are the ones known as the gonadotropin injections containing follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone either in the ratio of 1 is to 1 or 2 is to 1 or highly purified forms prepared by the DNA recombinant techniques. The oral medication is usually given from the second day to the fifth day of period or from the fifth day for five days. The dose is from 50 to 150 milligrams in case of clomiphene citrate and 1 to 5 milligrams in the case of anastrozole and letrozole. The oral medications act by inhibiting the estrogen receptor or by inhibiting certain enzymes like aromatase, thereby decreasing the estrogen level in the blood, which indirectly stimulates the pituitary hypothalamus axis to produce more follicle stimulating hormones, which indirectly stimulates the ovary to form multiple eggs. These medicines are used in case of women with anovulatory cycles or in women with PCOS. Coming to the gonadotropin injections, they can be combined with oral tablets in a low dose in case of intrauterine insemination cases or they are given purely from the day 2 in case of IVF cycles. The treatment is usually given for 3 to 6 cycles in case of oral tablets. And in case the woman doesn't get pregnant, sometimes we see that after stopping the oral medications or after stopping the gonadotropin injection, the woman automatically starts producing normal eggs and she gets pregnant naturally as the irregular hormones get corrected. The effect of these medicines can last for 3 to 6 months even after stopping the medications that is the oral tablets or the gonadotropin injections.